If there's one thing that I would say that this younger generation struggles with, it's being their genuine self. Keeping it real, you might say. We're obsessed with how other people perceive us, whether through social media or in real life. But the same cannot be said for the older generation. They've been around the block, they live their life, they don't give a fuck what you think. And over the years, I've seen a lot of peculiar stuff on TikTok, specifically over this last year since I've been making content about it. But nothing caught me quite as off guard as whenever I came across this TikTok on my For You page. No one loves me. Everybody hates me. Guess I'll go eat worms. This is for you, Becky. Woo hoo! He's harmless. He didn't even poop in my mouth or nothing. Hey, right? here he comes. Mm hmm. <laughs> now I don't know who Becky is. I don't know the story behind this. I don't I don't know what the events were leading up to this TikTok and Frankly, I don't really want to know. I feel like that would just take away from the experience. Now, if you're like me, after watching that TikTok, you 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 couldn't stop there. You struck gold, you got to keep going. So I went to her page and I just wanted to share some of it with you because you deserve it. Oh, and we all had to look forward to death in Texas. Gee, lucky us. She's speaking facts. She's speaking straight facts. Two things are guaranteed in life, death and taxes. And we're just a slave to the system. There's no way out of it. There's no way through it. That's life. And you know what? Hattie Yo, 1963, she knows that. She knows that. <laughs> I'm laughing at my stupid videos, but I'll be honest with you. I am a sweetheart, but when I'm mad, I'm mad. But Love y'all. Who gives a damn? <laughs> I'm laughing. What? What? What did that mean? She's speaking in hieroglyphics at this point. I don't understand it, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm vibing with it. Who gives a damn? I feel like this lady has some like knowledge that like the rest of us don't know about. She's seen things that, that the rest of us can't even comprehend. I totally get it now. Like I said, I don't have thousands and millions of views because I'm not pretty. Some of the girls on here say any fucking thing don't even make half sense, but you like and like and like. Granny never misses. She's right. Pretty privilege is a real thing. I'm not gonna say that it's not. Bella Porsche got famous just by like winking at the camera. And then, you know, there's the rest of us that are putting our heart and soul into what we do. But oh well, because everybody might hate you. Nobody might like you, but you can always go eat worms. Hey, for you, Becky. If all you want to know where I live, I live in East Bumfuck. Egypt on fuck it lane <laughs> eat shit road and she's also funny she's funny honestly I hope that her content kind of takes off like like I know that that video that she did was kind of weird you know but who who gives a fuck you know people do weird shit all the time to get famous I'm not gonna knock the hustle honestly she seems like a really genuine sweet lady and she also makes this art that she puts on her TikTok and there's only two videos that are still up because I, I think that a lot of them get taken down because um well, the art is a little, uh, naked. But what she does is, like, really interesting. Like, I would never be able to do that. Also, I'm not gonna show it to you, but I do really like the added touch of the pubic hair to the genitalia. Oh, beautiful. Wow, this really fucking kills me. These psychics, supposed psychics, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them. Uh, you're looking at millions of people saying, oh, Somebody here, oh, you have a family member that, well, yeah, duh, who don't? <laughs> you know it, bro, you know it. Call them out, tell it like it is. The amount of psychics on TikTok is crazy, and the amount of people that believe those psychics are even crazier. It's nothing but W's, nothing but W's coming from Granny. I do appreciate, though, that in this next TikTok, she does give us some clarification as to who Becky is, because I've been wondering since the beginning, who the heck is Becky? Why did Becky make eat worms? Okay, that's not a thing that uh, that's not a thing that Becky should do. But she tells us. Just so you know, Becky didn't do anything. She is a family of mine, and I gross her the hell out. And she's like, "What's the matter with you?" Okay, so it's all in good fun. I'm glad that we've put that to rest. I didn't want to throw hands, but I would have. I would have if someone was forcing my granny to do something she didn't want. 
I would have thrown hands. Now, of course, with the internet, you're going to have a lot of people just randomly hating on you, which is frustrating no matter what you do, because the amount of fucking stupid people on the internet that feel like their opinion means anything is, it's pretty annoying. Obviously, I'm not talking about, like, people's supportive audiences, because those, those are always good, positive things. But I'm talking about the people that just go from video to video hating on people. Like for me, I can't even fathom the idea of writing a hate comment, like insulting someone's looks, insulting them for anything, even even like just questioning something. I don't think I've ever written a comment like that because like, why would I? Like I have so much more to do than to just be an annoying bitch. So it is annoying when I see comments like this on her page that says, you ate worms, you're a sick old lady, the devil has a spot for you. To which granny responded to, which is something that you should never really do with hate comments because that that's all they want is recognition for their fucking miserable life she says didn't eat them actually i'm going to heaven keep scrolling and he responds with putting worms or eating them is a satanic ritual so is eating dirt listen jack united states marines i don't know where you're getting the idea that eating worms is a ritual but for one she didn't eat the worm she just put it in her mouth just basically giving it a little bath okay giving it a little a little saliva bath nothing wrong with that and also Eating dirt? Let me tell you, Jack is gonna freak out when he finds out where vegetables come from. That's gonna be a terrible day for Jack when he finds out that he's going to hell because he has been consuming stuff that has been, frankly, <laughs> coming from the dirt. So Jack, I will I will see you there. And you know, like I said, I don't like to respond to hate comments, but when it's not my own, when, when I'm defending someone, you know, I might, I might leave a little something. I'm here for you, Granny. I'm here for you. And there are even a couple videos on here where she goes into depth about, like, her, like, children passing away. Like, her, like, giving birth and, like, these complications and stuff like that. And it is actually, like, pretty sad, especially whenever you then see comments that are, like, making fun of her, or telling her to, like, kill herself and stuff like that. Like, just stuff that, like, you shouldn't say to people to begin with, but whenever you're telling someone who is, like, being vulnerable, like, it's, 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 it's kind of disheartening to see. Because as much as I can laugh at Granny for being such a silly little goober, I would never wish hate upon this lady in my life. She seems so genuine and sweet, and I wish her nothing but the best. Hey, if you're picking on me, you're leaving somebody else alone. It's okay. I can handle it. As this comment right here says, Becky ate. She ate. She ate and left no crumbs. Now, I do have to correct Trevor. This is not Becky. Becky is her friend. But I'll be honest, if I haven't also called this woman Becky during the video because I don't I don't know her name. So I just I've I've accidentally called her Becky a few times. So yeah, a little clarification, but I know what you meant. We all feel the same way. So I genuinely do hope the best for Becky. I hope that she can find her audience on TikTok. Uh, right now, I think she has like 1000 followers. I hope that she doesn't keep getting a massive amount of hate from people and hopefully she can just have a little fun you know it seems like she's had a pretty rough life it seems like she's kind of lonely as she said and i hope that she can find her audience and do something that makes her feel fulfilled and just gives her some joy but yeah a lot of times on this channel i've been very critical of people uh, a lot of the people that i've i've recently made videos on are not that great so i just wanted to kind of recognize someone that i feel like deserves a little more appreciation. And hey, she might be goofy and she might be weird, but aren't we all? So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you'll join me next time when I take it one step further and I shove worms right into my ass. I start as a youngin' and I'm paving away and I ain't on you nothing, bitch, get out my way. She wanna fuck it, she heard I'm get paid, but I ain't seen no hate behind Cartier shades.